There are a lot of people who are biting their fingers in fear that they might lose their jobs. But there are few people who have decided within themselves, I'm going to make it. Some people aren't waiting to be cut. Some people are moving on their own because they feel within themselves, I've got what it takes to make it. They're not afraid about tomorrow because of how they see themselves, because of what they feel that they deserve, because of what they feel that they can create for themselves. Because these people have decided, as they look at the future, as they look at themselves, there's a way. Where there's a will, there's a way for me to begin to create a way out of no way. And when you have that kind of consciousness, when you have that kind of spirit, nothing can stop you. Nothing. What would your life be like as you look toward the future? If you decided, I'm not going to allow my fears to stop me, what would your life be like? What would your future be like if you decided to, to want that which you desire so strongly that it prepares you past your fears, that you experience the fear, as the one book says, feel the fear and do it anyway. What would your life be like? And I'm saying to you that all of us who have been entombed by fear have the capacity to resurrect ourselves and to resurrect our dreams. That in the process of working on your dreams, you are going to incur, incur a lot of disappointment, a lot of failure, a lot of pain, a lot of setbacks, a lot of defeats. But in the process of doing that, you will discover some things about yourself that you don't know right now. What you will realize is that you have greatness within you what you'll realize is that you're more powerful than you can ever begin to imagine. What you will realize is that you are greater than your circumstances, that you don't have to go through life being a victim. As Jack indicated, I was born in Miami, Florida, in an area called Liberty City, in an abandoned building on a hard Nanolian floor with my twin brother. We were six weeks of age, we were adopted. When I was in fifth grade, I was identified as EMR, labeled, educable, mentally retarded, put back from the fifth grade into the fourth grade, and stayed in that category until I got out of high school. I don't have any college training, but I met a high school teacher who one day changed my life. I was waiting on another student, and when he came in, he said to me, young man, go to the board and write what I'm about to tell you. And I said, I, I can't do that, sir. He said, why not? I said, I'm not one of your students. He said, it doesn't matter, follow my directions now. I said, I can't do that, sir. He said, why not? I said, because I'm educable, mentally retarded. And he came from behind his desk and he looked at me. He said, don't ever say that again. Someone's opinion of you does not have to become your reality. Stop doing the things that you know are wrong that you could stop doing. Right, so it's, it's, a fairly, it's a fairly limited attempt. First of all, we're not gonna say that you know what the good is or what the truth is in any ultimate sense. But we will presume that there are things that you're doing that for one reason or another you know are not in your best interests. There's something about them that you just know you should stop. They're kind of self-evident to you. Other things you're gonna be doubtful about. You're not gonna know which way is up and which way is down. But there are things that you're doing that you know you shouldn't do. Now, some of those you won't stop doing for whatever reason. You don't have the discipline or maybe there's a secondary payoff or you don't believe it's necessary or it's too much of a sacrifice or you're angry or resentful or, or afraid. Who knows? So forget about those for now. But there's another subset that you could stop doing. It might be a little thing. Well, that's fine. Stop doing it and see what happens. And what'll happen is your vision will clear a little bit. And then something else will pop up in your field of apprehension that you will also know you should stop doing and that you could stop doing because you strengthened yourself a bit by stopping doing the particular stupid thing that you were doing before. That just puts you together a little bit more. And you could do that repeatedly for, for an indefinite period of time. And, and you know, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to ever be able to formulate a clear and final picture of what constitutes the truth. 
and the good, but it does mean that you'll be able to continually move away from what's untruth and what's bad. And you know, that's not a bad start. I think what people get confused is, you know, they're grinding with a goal. And I'm not saying you should have goals, but you should be grinding for grinding sake. Mm. You know, you should grind because that's what you do. You're passionate about what you do, you know, and so you're waking up every day with this concept of, I have 24 hours and they're mine. This 24 hours belongs to me. Right. And whatever I do in this 24 hours will determine where I'll be tomorrow and the next day. And I think that's what people need to focus on. Like, get off of this, I wanna make six figures. I wanna drive this car, I wanna live in this house. I think what people should be focusing on is, I have 24 hours. Like Oprah only has 24. Yeah. Bill Gates only has 24. Like Warren Buffett only has 24 hours. And in that 24 hour period, I can either break my life or make my life. Mm. And I think, and I'm not saying you shouldn't have goals. Don't, don't, that, I just think that goals for people is too high on the priority list. And I think what should be on the priority list is going to bed so you can wake up the next day and you can grind it out. Mm. And I'm just a dude that believes you reap what you sow. So if you're grinding on Monday, grinding on Tuesday, grinding on Wednesday, if you're grinding six, seven days a week for, for a span of five or six years, something's got to come out of that. Sure. But if you're only grinding, you know, on Monday you fired up, Wednesday you back, you're <laughs> sleeping in, Thursday you got you, the funk of the world is on. Like I've heard people say, Hump day. Hump day. What is, <laughs> every day is hump day. Like what's, Wednesday is hump day, like Monday hump day, Tuesday is hump day, like every day is hump day. And I think if we would spend more time on what's my goal, you know, and meaning what do I need to accomplish in this day to live this lifestyle and you go after it, then I think I think more mm. people will be successful. You know, um, you know, the risk every single day. Um, you know, you start to make money that you never seen. You know, I've never had money like that. And so, for me, it was like the taste of like, wow, okay, I'm I'm able to. And what did it feel like? Is that like freedom for you, or or? Yeah, definitely some freedom. Um, freedom to start being able to kind of do what I want, like kind of control like what I wanted right. and do certain things. Um, and what what is the like value of risk for an entrepreneur? Like the, the ability to take risk? It's everything, it's part of my DNA, you know? Um, it's just like, I'm constantly every day trying to challenge myself, you know, to push myself to take risk, whether it's in my personal life, you know, pushing myself to new environments, try, trying new things. And why do you do new that? People. It helps me grow, you know, I grow as an individual. Every time I try to do something that scares me, I just like, and it, afterwards, like, I just, it empowers me. I feel, you know, I feel like I've learned something, I've grown, I've learned about a new culture, I've learned about a new person. I always feel like I can learn something new from someone, no matter who they are, you know, so. Um, and then with ideas, like, I, you know, I just love, I'm not afraid to fail. You know, for me, there's nothing more powerful than creating something, and if it's going wrong, like, solving okay how, let's pivot let's figure out why it's not working and continuing until you know we actually have built something that people you know see value in and has grown and uh, when something does work the reward of like seeing people come together for one thing and all, everyone kind of believing in that mission and believing in that idea and believing in it it's just like there's nothing more rewarding to me that's like uh, it's it's a, it's best moments of my life have been like when I've taken a big risk and I've seen it come to fruition. And like, it's gone from this idea to people, to like actual people, f like, you know, all making it reality, mm. something tangible, seeing the emotion that it creates in different people. And, and like, the, it's just awesome, you know? And then, the, I don't know, I forget, I think it puts me to like the Elite Daily, like the moment where me and my co-founders when we had that exit and we didn't plan it and we looked each other in the eye and we're like, man, like, we fucking did it. Like, forget about the money. Like, there's 200 people back in the office that are all happy, freaking working on a common goal. 80 million people that are reading this thing on a daily basis. Like, remember the days when it was just three folding chairs and we didn't know if this thing was gonna really work. And now, you know, it's, it was, to me, that's like, it was the 
greatest thing in the world. Success is reaching a predetermined goal and accomplishing something that is of value or important to you or others which you had set out to do in the past. Success is the desire, aspiration and drive to do something meaningful, important, significant, valuable or substantial that has an impact on your life and other people. You are the only person who intimately knows what you want to accomplish in life and what kind of achievement will have the greatest meaning, fulfillment and impact in your life. Success is not easy. You already knew that. But what does it take to be successful in life? What does success mean? How can you be successful? How will you know when you become successful?